Morning, Nazca. Patrick speaking. My name is Patrick Johnson. Uh, I'm from up in Lockhart River, so my family are the Umpula people um, in far north Queensland. I work in the National Aboriginal Sporting Chance Academy and I work on a project which takes um, athletes as role models out to the remote communities. With education you can go anywhere you like. You can travel the world, um, you can be a doctor, you can be you know anything you like and that's the greatest thing you've got to learn especially with education is that springboards you to anything in life. I've been running for the last pretty much 10 years. It's a funny feeling to have when you're actually at the elite level where it's just easy and it's not a, an effort. When you broke the world record for 100 metres, how did you feel? <laughs> it was a great feeling to uh, put Australia on the map and show that uh, there's so much talent in Australia and the 100 metre record was one of those things you know, everyone wants to do and I've, I was happy to do that and uh, show the way for everyone else. And it's six hours a day of training so it's pretty much like a full-time job and most people think 100 metres running is just flat out running but it's so technical and it's a combination of uh, weights, you know, short sprints, long sprints because uh, it doesn't matter how much talent you got because all of us have got talent and ability is what you do with that talent and ability. Don't ever believe that you won't make it. I think you're going to go through the rough roads, um, but just believe in yourself and get the right support around you. My name is Mariam and I work with victims of domestic violence from refugee and migrant backgrounds. I was born in Kabul, Afghanistan, 12 or 13 when I left Afghanistan due to the war. I came to Pakistan and I lived there for almost four to five years and then I was given the humanitarian visa to come to Australia by playing as a refugee and that was the best opportunity I was given in life. When I came to Australia, uh, someone like me in the position that I'm working now, not probably as a domestic violence officer, but in a social work uh, platform. Uh, as a caseworker, uh, she helped me when I needed help. And um, so I've decided from that moment that, okay, when I finish my studies, I'll become a social worker. I was 20 years old. I came from, probably from that, that street, and I saw the blue sign, and the students were sitting here in the uniform, the girls and boys were all like, you know, out here. And that kind of got my attention, and I said, this is the school. Then I asked for the principal, and I had to convince him to take me. I really want to be in a school. I wanted to start from school. And he again just looked at me and he just probably looked down and I said, look, I don't even look big or I'm not a tall girl anyway, I, 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 I will manage it. And then he just looked down and he goes, okay. As soon as he, okay, I just jumped in and I just hugged him. And the poor guy, he was just sitting like that, I said, thank you so much. And I really cried. I cried probably there for 10 minutes. And now I have my two children as well. She's due to go high school. And she said, Mommy, can I go to the school where you graduate? And I'm just thinking now to probably bring her as well to Mitchell. Education is important. It turns your dreams into reality. 